What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to play iPhone games with the PlayStation 5 controller. Let's get started. Now what you're going to need for this to work is pretty much your DualSense controller. That's the PS5 controller. You're going to need an iPhone that's capable of updating to iOS 14.5 and then optionally a set of headphones just to enhance your gameplay. Now the setup process is pretty simple. We're just going to open up our settings application and we're going to tap on general and software update. Now we want to make sure that our phone is updated to iOS 4.5 or later. It will not work if you don't have have this update and in my case here I'm using the iPhone 12 Pro but you should be able to update to 14.5 with older iPhones as well. Now the update does take a little bit of time so plug it up to the charger and go through the update process. Once you've ensured your phone is updated open your settings application again and then tap on the Bluetooth options. Now you should see everything you have connected and other devices you can connect to, but in order for this to work, we're going to need to enter our PlayStation controller into its share mode or pairing mode. And to do that, you're going to press on the share button and PlayStation button at the same time. You're going to do this for about three seconds until you see the controller flashing. So we've got the flashing controller right there and you'll notice that on the phone here, we do see DualSense wireless controller. We can tap on that option there and it's going to pair the controller with the iPhone. Once you see that it is connected here, you're then connected. Now, in order to play games that work with the iPhone, you're going to need to search the App Store for your favorite games. When you go through this game section at the bottom in the App Store, you can look through these options here and some of them say with controller right here. And if you tap see all, these are the games that they've recommended work with controllers. Some are paid, some are free. But just to show you that this works, I downloaded a few games here. We're going to try Call of Duty, um, but this game right here, Vita Fighter. And you can see this game works pretty well with the controller. And I found this game in the App Store. It's just a, a random, like, sort of Street Fighter style game. Uh, it's called Vita Fighter if you want to check it out. But it'll be the same way for racing games. And I showed you how you can do this with the PlayStation 4 controller as well as Android devices in the past. So if you want to check those out as well, you can. And also, if you want to use this in a better sort of scenario, just connect it up to an iPad. It'll look even better and you'll have more of a big screen setup. Now with Call of Duty, it seems to be working just fine. You can aim, shoot. I'm actually playing this looking at the viewfinder on the screen, but uh, it looks just like it does. Oh, it's really hard to see because I'm using the viewfinder, but you can use all the buttons, all the controls as you would just like any other console. If you're using the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, even Xbox, all the buttons are the same and you can kind of map them out or customize them a little bit too in the settings so you can uh, make it a little bit easier. But it uh, works pretty well, pretty easy to use and set up. Once it's set up here, you'll go through the tutorial in this game as well and then you can kind of start playing like I am right here. Now, one thing that always comes up when I make these videos, as I mentioned, I made this for the PS4 controller, Android devices, and also using uh, a specialty controller. But anyway, how to disable this so then you can use your PlayStation 5 controller again on your PlayStation 5. So for that, what we need to do is go back into our settings. We're gonna open our Bluetooth settings once again. You'll see that your wireless controller here is connected. Now you can, one of two things, just take this controller, bring it to your PlayStation 5 and connect it using the USB-C cable back to the PlayStation 5 and it should pair back up. You can also disable it right here by tapping that little I beside it and disconnecting it. And then uh, you should be able to just be reconnected by pressing the PlayStation button to turn your PlayStation 5 back on. If that doesn't work, when you disconnect it here, if I press disconnect, what you do need to do is then Connect it using the wire to the PlayStation 5 to repair it to your PlayStation 5. But that's pretty much how you connect a PlayStation 5 controller to your iPhone and playing iPhone games with the PS5 controller. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'd like you guys to leave a comment of games that you've played with controllers in the past. Just list the games so that I can find out and play the games. Others in the 
video comments can find out as well. That way it helps everybody out. If you run into any trouble, just ask, I'm here to help. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. Feel free to help support the channel on Patreon. The link is in the description as well. And if you do wanna pick up one of these controllers, if you couldn't find a PlayStation 5, check it out. There's a link to that one as well.